Good morning to everybody. Look, it's an interest rate decision today from the Reserve Bank, of course. Now, that decision will be on hold, but the Australian dollar this morning has popped back above 80 US cents. You can see it here. Now, at the moment, that's normally code for market speculation that rates are going up. Now, the dollar right now, 80.01 US cents, also a little higher against the other currencies, but really it hasn't popped against the euro because actually the US dollar has fallen very strongly against the euro in the last little time. But this time, it's not interest rate settings that are actually boosting our Australian dollar. It's iron. Iron ore. The iron ore futures price jumped 7% in China yesterday. You can see it here at the end, which is why shares in Fortescue, BHP and Rio Tinto all took off late yesterday afternoon. Now, just how sustainable that iron ore price is, and you can see it's volatile. It's worth hundreds of millions of dollars to the federal government's budget. In the budget, Treasury said if there was an early fall to $55 a tonne, you can see that happen, it would cost the budget $400 million. But the rebound back above $66, you can see it's close on $75 now, adds about $400 million to the budget bottom line. That's welcome money. Now, like it or not in Australia, you, me, all of us, we are tied to the iron ore and the coal price. As for today's interest rate move, well, generally the higher the dollar, the more speculation that rates will be cut. But that's not happening, nor are rates likely to be raised today or any time in the future. Money markets say today there's a 100% chance that rates will be on hold. That's good enough for me. It's not really a bold forecast, though. And after last week's low inflation and the Reserve Bank Governor saying, rates are going nowhere anytime soon. Money markets now tip the first rate rise will not come until November, December next year. So that's 16 months away. Mind you, last week it was expected to be in August next year. So markets certainly have changed their minds just even over the course of the past week. Overnight, the Dow Jones index was up by 60 points. The local stock market's expected also to get off to a good start. Deb, Carl? So why is the dollar racing then? The dollar's rising because of those iron ore prices. But as I say, generally you'd expect that would actually weaken the economy and lead to speculation about interest rate cuts. But the Reserve Bank has said that's not on for the time being.